Start by trying to relax. <laughs> Make sure you're breathing. Feel, feel where in your body you might be feeling some tension. Try to let go as best you can. Start with the hands turned upwards. And as my piano teacher used to say, imagine you're cupping two little baby birds in your hands. So you want sort of a softness and a tenderness to the hands. And then with that same quality of softness and tenderness and lack of tension, turn the hands over. You'll want to practice even before you make any sound at all. Practice put letting the weight of the fingers push the keys down. So you're really letting gravity do the work. And just, I have my fingers on some of the white keys and I'm just using one finger per key to go sort of up and down. No particular notes needed. Just place your hand anywhere along the keyboard and practice letting gravity, pull, letting gravity pull the finger into the key rather than pushing the keys, which creates tension in the hand and especially the wrists. So you can practice this with absolutely no sound um, and notice which placement or which keys tend to bring a bit more tension. For me, like the pinky finger, it's pretty hard not to have a little bit of tension. So I'm gonna try my best to relax. And I'm just going up and down the scale, all the way up whatever five keys my hand happens to be placed on and going down whatever five keys my hand happens to be placed on. Then we are going to start to add some sound, but for now, think of it not only as, a, as something to practice in terms of your music making, but think of it also as a, a nada yoga exercise, as a practice in um, deep inner listening and sort of meditation on sound itself. So you can pick any key any key. Um, I'm picking uh, what the Western tradition would call middle C, but you can pick any key. It would be helpful for the next exercise after this if it's a key that is somewhat comfortable in your voice. <laughs> so I'm going to push that key down. And the main thing I'm doing is I'm just trying to make as long of a sustain as possible. What I mean by that is I'm looking for the exact amount of pressure and rhythm in my left hand that would allow for the note to come out completely even. Try doing this for like five minutes, ten minutes, and notice like through that deep inner listening, notice when the sound may be has like ups and downs. And notice if you're pumping too quickly, how the sound starts to get really loud very quickly. To the point where you can't even hear me anymore, right? So for a full, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes, even longer if you like, See how long you can keep just that one note sustained. And if there are peaks and valleys, or if you do start to notice yourself getting louder, that's okay. Just try to, you know, finagle it and, um, and correct it. And so now we're also working with the relaxation of the left hand. So try to keep the left hand, the pumping hand, as relaxed as possible. Of course, there's effort involved in pumping the bellows, but keep that sense of like baby bird hands as best you can. So after you've practiced this for several minutes, then start to add the voice in. So I'm just going to try to match the harmonium with my voice.
course, I have to take breaths, so there, of course, are going to be breaks between the notes, but I'm trying to match the pitch and also the, the volume. Like, try to be able to hear the harmonium and the volume of your voice sort of in equal measure, in equal parts, so that the harmonium isn't way louder than the voice, right, especially. actually a hard note for me because it's kind of right in my uh, it's right before my upper range each other in the middle so again this is also this is a relaxation exercise it's also a listening exercise so that we're practicing not necessarily going from one to the other with that like harsh break in the middle now that can be effective artistically in different circumstances but right now we're practicing glide so this one actually doesn't have the smoothest glide, but I'm trying my best anyway to just go back and forth as smoothly as possible, one note to the other note. So they kind of, I'm trying to make them pass right in the middle. Again, it's not the best harmonium for this, but I'm doing my best. Okay, now you could spend several minutes, again, just listening and hearing yourself glide the notes. And then maybe you add voice. And again, the voice is also trying to glide between the notes as best you can for now. Of course, there will be circumstances when you want a more staccato effect artistically, but right now let's glide. We're practicing relaxing the hands, relaxing the voice. We're practicing hearing that glide between two notes. It might be the case that at first your voice is not gliding very smoothly. Maybe it's a little bit hard to make that adventure to the next note. <laughs> That's okay. That's why you want to spend some time with this. You might practice this every day. Just two notes just with two notes. And again, we're not even bothering with which notes we're using. If you do discover that you're a little bit too high in the range, then come on down to a place where you're comfortable for now, because of course it's going to get less comfortable as we move on. So several things to practice. Practice sustain with just one note, sustain with just one note, adding the voice, Sustain with gliding between two notes, and then sustain with gliding the two notes with the voice added. 